Hi everyone, welcome to Red Desert Fiddle. In this video I'm going to teach you boil the cabbage down. It's one of my favorite hoedowns. It's the first one I ever learned and the first one I ever heard that really knocked my socks off. So it's one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to give you a condensed version of how I teach fiddle so you'll know what my fiddle lessons are kind of like. But we're going to try to do in 20 minutes what really will be about an hour to an hour and a half of teaching. So we're going to really condense it down. I'm going to teach you the basic tune and one simple variation. Then I'm going to discuss scales um, and arpeggios that you can work on to help you get these patterns and to help your fingers learn their their way. We'll talk about uh, some bowing patterns. I'll teach you some left hand tricks or one main left hand trick. In each fiddle tune I try to teach one new trick that can help to jazz up your fiddling. And then we'll talk about chords and how to play backup if you're lucky enough to have a band to play with then you can really let someone else take the solo while you just kind of chop along behind them. And then I'll teach you just a, a way to open up the, the tune, how to, it's called potatoes, how to start the tune off. <clears throat> and then I'll show you some fancy variations for later down the road when you've learned the basics and you're ready to really get fancy. Okay, so the basic tune goes like this. I teach my students the words apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, apple, apple pie, pie. It just fits so naturally that immediately they know what to do with their fingers based on the apple pie words. So here's how it goes. to it and on that basic melody you can hang endless variations so just learn that and then the small variation that's so simple is based on grasshopper and that goes grasshopper 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 pop let me show you how that goes same notes. Okay, so the pattern with that is two grasshoppers on every note until the end. And then you have only one grasshopper. Um, grasshopper, 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 pop. So get that pattern in your head and then we'll proceed by teaching you some of the scale work that's going to help you to learn this tune. Okay, we're going to discuss some scale work and the bow patterns together because I would have a hard time separating them. We're going to use scales, the A major scale, because this I'm teaching you this tune in A major. We're going to use the A major scale to work on our bow patterns. Okay, so your basic A major scale is Okay, that's one octave. If you feel adventurous, you could learn uh, two octaves. You could start down here on first finger on the G string and it's a high three. And high three. So it's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And now you're where the other octave started. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Okay, so let's try it together. Ready? Go. A. 
Repeat A. And come back down. A. Let's repeat A. It's a two-octave scale. And we should learn the arpeggio as well because arpeggios are a big part of fiddling and of adding some hot licks in the fiddle tunes. So the arpeggio for the bottom octave is just one, three, one, A, like this. Or you could play fourth finger and I would recommend fourth finger like this. And then the top octave is even easier. It's open A, C sharp, open E, and three. Okay? And open strings are just fine, especially when you're fiddling. It's, it's expected and accepted. <laughs> Not so much for classical playing, but for fiddling, yes. Okay, so those are the scales and the arpeggios. Now, the two bow patterns that we're going to primarily use for boil a cabbage is the apple pie bowing and the grasshopper bowing. Apple pie is just short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. That's all there is to that. And the grasshopper bowing is the quintessential fiddle bow where it's Grasshopper, grasshopper, big, little, big, little, big, little, big, little. So we're going to practice our scale using those two bows. Let's start with apple pie. And I'm going to assume that you're feeling adventurous and want to do the two octave scale. So we're going to start with first finger on the G string, which is A. And we're going to do our grasshopper bowings with the scale like this. Okay, let's try that. One, two, ready, go. Now let's do our second octave. come down and you'll notice I'm choosing to repeat the tonic of my scales and you're gonna want to do some of each you're gonna want to repeat your tonic sometimes and not repeat it sometimes the reason I'm having you repeat it right now is because it helps us keep track of where we are in the scale and this is an easy scale so it's not necessary to really do that but when you're in really hard scales and some of the minor scales you might want to try repeating the tonic to help your ear keep track of where you are. Okay, let's come down that scale. Ready, two, set, go. Now, once you get good at that, try going faster. It'll just really train your bow arm to just do that bowing automatically without thinking about it. Okay, um, then when you get really good at that, only do one grasshopper per note like this. Okay. 
That's how you work, use scales to help you in fiddling. That's one of the many ways. All right, now let's apply apple pie to that scale. Apple pie, apple pie. We'll just do the bottom octave on this to save time. One, two, first finger go. Same thing there. You could, you could move faster. Just be creative and try to shake things up a little bit, and you'll you'll get skills really quickly that way. Next, I want to talk about left hand ornaments. <laughs> 